shortly be underway. He's making us wait. And then a heavy touch by Matthew Conlon, uh, Coughlin. It's, it's a very throw that's taken quickly by Pete. He tries to find Daniels, and as Daniels are reaching for it, he does catch the first goal man of Ethan, Dye, uh, Ethan Dart. Down this right hand side, slightly heavy touch. Manages to keep it in play. Daniels then wins the 50 50 and comes forward. He's looking for support on the left hand side. Skarsbuck is in the box and he plays it towards Skarsbuck, but it's cleared and out for a corner kick. Oh, had, had that intensity. There's more slips on the ball, which allows Sample to collect and drive at the Berry back line. He then plays it out wide to Nicholson. Nicholson now edges towards the Berry box. He thinks about a shot. He eventually comes in and it's well blocked in the end. That's definitely one thing I think we were come to oh, expect from yeah. first goal but we say disciplined and nah. as uh, Matthew Coughlin did dive in which almost allowed Lomax Jones to come forward but it's slightly a heavy touch nice little intricate passing there from Berry and a long ball to Daniels who controls it well played to Saskaris but he had Briggs through but it was well blocked Daniels then has the ball now in the centre of first goal's half and the referees brought it back for an earlier free kick on Daniels as well will be Harley Wilkinson to take this one in. I think that was a shot but he goes straight into the wall he then plays it out wide to Lomax Jones clips it into the box but that's blocked Reeves now tries to pick up the loose ball by playing it to Scarry's Bridge now at the feet of Brock Bank nicely kept by him shot comes in it's blocked Scarry's Bridge tried to play it to Lomax Jones that's a good tackle though by Coughlin the plan being towards try and get it towards Daniels and then bring the likes of Scarabricks and Briggs into play around the 18 yard box as Bursko have a free kick inside the centre circle. So now Berry will look to come forward as Scarabricks plays it out wide to Lomash Jones. He then plays it over top to Briggs. Briggs tries to beat Barry, but Barry does well with his feet to then play it to Coughlin, who first time plays it to Sample. He then plays it to Lomash Jones, whose cross is blocked by Coughlin, who is a little bit early there with his header and <coughs> shoved over Lomax Jones and it'll be a free kick again for Berry just outside the penalty box deliveries aren't being too great from these set pieces in the first half of the first half keep finding the front man and he plays low again and it's blocked out for a corner sounds a little bit more dangerous I'm not sure if that was the uh, idea really to put that one low on the floor but I think it probably was to be fair I think it's one of those where you try and hit the pace around it, you get the whip and defenders are a bit uncertain how to play it and any sort of nick off the shin or, or anything might uh, steer it goalward so attempted low ball as Reeves will take this in swinging corner towards the back post that Moore does meet again not able to get over and he goes out for a goal kick but that was almost a dangerous moment for Bursko I don't think there's enough there for the, the man to go down and want a free kick as Bursko take it quickly he's played short to Coughlin he plays it towards the back post he's then headed towards the six yard box and the ball is clear there's appeals for a goal the flag is up oh, it's for offside against Berry there but the referee's so played on the, the one time he doesn't give it and Briggs plays to Daniels who is two yards offside much to the frustration of Scarris who was on team possession a little bit of pressure building here from the away side attempted 1-2 almost comes off and it does Berry Burst now inside the box to take a shot and it's into the back of the net that was a lovely move on that left hand side that ended up with a finish from Stephen Rigby much to the surprise of the fans in attendance this afternoon, Bursko have made it 1 0. Yeah, and I mean, I wouldn't say it's uh, probably too much against the run of play either. I mean, Bursko have, without really having too many main chances, obviously they had the one there that was given offside, have been probably the better side. So it definitely is sort of, Barry just need to wake up a little bit. This isn't the, the Barry side that we've seen um, over the past six games or so. and Again, is it one of those where Barry just is struggling against sides near the bottom of the table? Condensed, compact first goal side. Briggs is able to find some space on the edge of the box, takes a shot but drags it wide. That was the first real chance that Barry have had where Briggs had a little bit of space, had a couple of options, probably chose the not the best of options, but still they'll be pleased to see that space being created for Barry. Chance here as they have men over on this left-hand side. They then have their... A shot on goal that's blocked by Brock Bank. Still Burst have possession though. Playing out right to Cameron Noren. He plays the ball into the box, but it's low. It's attempted to be kept in by Lomax Jones, but it will be a burst go through. 
there. He still keeps players forward as Moore now chips it towards the far post. Briggs is appealing for a shove. No, I don't think that's a foul. I don't think that's a foul, but if that happens in the middle of the pitch with the way the referee's been going so far, he gives a free kick for that. I would agree as Harry Wright has come out of his box to clear this one down the line. Arisbit can play it through to Briggs or Daniels. It now comes through to Briggs, who's one on the edge of the box. Takes a shot well saved by the feet of Barry. Real chance for Berry. Now Scarsbrick again dribbles past oh. a few of the Bursco men. Takes a shot towards the back post. And it's just wide. One of those shots come across where Briggs was sliding at the back post. Scarsbrick goes over the ball, goes in towards the six yard box. Still not clear as it falls to the edge of the box. Good strike and then headed goalwards and just wide. That was a real chance there for Anthony Walsh to double Bursco's lead. We'll be delighted how the first 45 minutes have gone. And it is indeed the half-time whistle. A goal on 32 minutes from Stephen Rigby giving Bursko the lead. And at half-time it's very nil. Who max his return from injury two weeks ago with that 10th goal against Skelmersdale. Thrown from Bursko's first head as Berry, then it's flicked on towards Daniels. Daniels in a dangerous position now on the near side. Flips one in right footed towards Briggs. Briggs takes it down. It's Andy Briggs strikes. It's a good block. And Kay will get it cleared by Grindrod. Berry still in possession though. Holland Wilkinson tries to take it past the man there, kind of Norum, but he takes him down and he'll be the first player of a Bursko persuasion into the book. No, it won't be. It'll be Pete. He has Reeves short, uses him. Reeves, right footed ball towards the penalty spot, towards Briggs. Briggs is header! And Barry a level! And it's Andy Briggs with his 22nd of the season! And we're only six minutes into the second half. Barry have their equaliser. It's Barry won, Bursko won. Fantastic header there from Andy Briggs. I was watching him as the ball was played in there. He almost wasn't quite looking at the ball and he was able to shift his body to just guide it towards that bottom corner. He was quite a distance out. To be able to get past the Barry from that distance was really impressive. And we mentioned the tempo in the start of the second half. He's got the goal they deserve and it was a lovely finish from Briggs who just continues to impress. And now they'll try and get that second to get themselves into the lead. Side towards Hall Wilkinson. It's a great ball by right and Hall Wilkinson's going to get on the end of it. Hall Wilkinson tries to take it past his man and uh, ends up winning the corner. Uh, good work there by Hall Wilkinson. He was never in full control given the defensive work of Cannon Noren there who stayed down for the moment. It's for this corner. Pete to deliver. And the head is there and it's in again! And Berry are in the lead! Great ball in from Gaz Peak. We mentioned a few times now that they've met the first man from the corner. And that was whipped in with some real pace right to the middle of that six yard box. And it was a thumping header from Deck Daniels. He had a fair amount of space inside that six yard box. And he met it sweetly. And a great way to make it 2 1. And well, the Bursko lead eradicated inside 10 minutes of the second half and it's both the strikers on the scoreboard Declan Daniels with his 8th goal for Berry. Uh, get 5 minutes on uh, added at the end of the game and uh, we won't see another 10 one but you, you were saying it's going to be difficult to commentate on I'm not holding hope anyway ball forward towards Briggs again and it's cleared away this time by James McCulloch Lomax Jones tries the ball forward towards Daniels it's a good ball if Daniels can get on the end of it and I think he has Daniels is in here Declan Daniels but it's well recovered in the end from Ethan Dar to put it behind for a corner no I did really well it was a good ball over the top and around here and obviously it's, as I say it's impacting the performance of the pitch now as well that Berry are playing with the tails up and there's Skarsberg now goes down and that's going to be a free kick Skarsberg just did really well just to get on the wrong side of uh, Coughlin and Coughlin will head into the referee's book Holland Wilkinson right footed ball in towards the back post penalty Tom Moore goes down under a challenge by Ethan Dar in the air and while we were talking about how the referee Jamie Kilgannon has um, been penalising those aerial challenges he's seen something in the box there 
and uh, Berry have a chance to make it three from the spot. Daniels against Kia Barry to make it 3-1. Daniels saved. Barry guesses right. And Declan Daniels' uh, penalty is saved and it'll remain 2-1. And it, could that be a turning point for Bursko? It's going to be Charles Ball. Steps up, strikes it towards that top right corner, but puts that one over the bar. He's holding off Ball and then switches the play to Brockbank. Brockbank is in shooting range here. He's going to go for a goal and it's just over the bar. Kick is won convincingly in the air by Moore and now Burns can start a counter-attack. It's a three on four and Burns takes his man. Byline cuts inside. Sam Burns strikes off the post. And it's cleared away in the end. Sam Burns still looking for his first very goal from open play. Rigby puts it in a dangerous position and it's hacked away for a corner. Again, it's another low set piece that we've seen so often this afternoon. Rigby, left footed ball in towards the back post. The header's there and it's into the back of the net. And it's Ethan Dar with the goal. It's his first goal for Bursko and, well, this game's taken another turn. Yeah. Bursko level, it's 2-2 here at Gig Lane. Nine minutes left of the 90, it's uh, level pegging again. And Barry, you're going to have to turn things on again because, oh, that's a bad challenge by Sample. And it's probably going to go into the referee's book for that. Just tripping P up. He was absolutely nowhere near him. He's not going for the ball. And just a crowd forming around and referee I, Jamie Kilgannon. I have to talk to the ball, but it's probably... Yeah, he's been sent off for it. Well, Bursko reduced to 10 men. And it's uh, Harvey Sample. The man who's been sent off. But in possession. Where's Kellett now? Kellett plays the ball forward to Lowe. Lowe's in the box now. Benito Lowe tries to take his man on. It's a good tackle by Darren. It'll be a corner for Berry. Target. Andy Briggs not on the pitch anymore. Ball's clipped in towards the back post. Moore's there and it's cleared away in the end. Again to make it 3-2. Pete, left footed delivery. The header's there but it's headed clear. It's going to fall back out to Pete. Peach gets the ball stuck under his feet and tries to take a, a man on instead of just putting it into the box. Berry have everyone except Kellett, Pete and the free kick taker Reeves and Harry Wright obviously it's played out to Kellett the nib oh, at the centre and it's shots over the bar. It's a really smart free kick from Reeves because Kellett was in acres of space just on the edge of the D but he gets that shot all wrong and goes sailing over the bar. It opened up nicely for him. Barry clears that one forward. And Bursko are going to be the happiest at the end of the, the game. The referee blows his whistle.